Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Men and Neil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It is very much appreciated. Alright, just going to be doing a general reading. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. This is a Scorpio reading. Um, so, what do I want to say here? <laughs> I'll tell you what I want to say. I, t I want to tell you that the, the readings are very much general readings and they are for entertainment purposes only. And there is no way that the, that a full reading could apply to you, okay? Um, but I've had people message me and say, you know, oh, that was my reading, you shouldn't have laughed or whatever. Well, I, I don't know you from a bar of soap and if I did laugh, it was because it resonated with me for a reason and that's why I would have laughed but it's, it's you, you got to stop taking these readings as, as a personal so if you do want a personal reading you can go to my description box and um, shoot through an email and you know you can have one there but this is for entertainment purposes only all right Scorpio sometimes I do say he or she sometimes the story might be vice versa and for those of you that do support me and give me the thumbs up and the likes and subscribe, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really do. All right, Scorpio. I'm going to um, tell you, Scorpio, that um, your spider senses are sort of like tingling. I feel like that for some of you that you're highly intuitive and that you are rising to some sort of next level and there seems to be some signs and synchronicity synchronicity around you that is showing you that your spirit guides are, are like right there for some of you your spirit guides have changed and you've got new ones but um but this is making you feel like you want to withdraw a little bit scorpio that you need to be on your own for a little while like even if it's just 24 hours of just switching off your phone and just being you and you know netflix and whatever but you know you just want to be in your own space right now okay um all right so all right scorpio let's see what's in store for you Scorpio, home is where the heart is. You got prayer, you got completion, you got stillness, you got music, you got peace, you got prosperity, hope, shadow self, divine love, divine justice, earth, intuition, alchemy, creativity, color, healing, clearing, and communication and art. Okay. All right. For a lot of you, Scorpios, that you. Um, you seem to be going through uh, endings of cycles, okay? And you're at a standstill. You feel like you're at a standstill, but you, you're at a standstill for a reason, okay? So a lot of you are, are transforming, going through uh, an awakening and um, experiencing new gifts in your life that you didn't think that you had, okay? So I feel like there's a lot of things in your life that is coming to a completion and a lot of it is going to be your struggles, especially when it comes to finances, okay? That struggle is over and slowly, slowly, you're going to see the fruits of your labor, all right? For a lot of you, you need to be at a standstill. You need some peace in your life and, and you're going to use the power of prayer and manifestation to, to settle you because there's something of an uneasy feeling inside of you, all right? And I kind of feel like that for some of you, you are dealing with your shadow self, that you are dealing with the light and the dark and trying to balance things out. And that's why there's a time of stillness, okay? Music might be healing you or there's somebody you're associated with the music industry or um, just the person that, that might be now becoming, um, you know, aware to you that this person brings peace into your life or you bring peace into their life and... You know, you might pray for them or you manifest for them as they manifest for you. But I feel like you and this person will possibly one day share a home or they feel like home to you or you feel like home to them. Okay. 
quite frankly, I kind of feel like the energy between you and this person is very peaceful. Okay. All right. So we have a lot of hope that is coming your way. You're feeling very grounded. And if you're not, you will be, especially in your financial sector, because you're being divinely just uh, guided into certain areas into your life. Okay. Um, I feel like this connection here is very well balanced. Okay. Um, but at the same time, it's like it needs, it needs to grow. It needs to be more open. Okay. Um, but this is a divine love and, and that somebody is planting seeds, you know, for the future, you and this person. All right. And I think that your intuition is, is being heightened right now. You know, you're, you're manifesting very strongly and things that you have manifested in the past, they are coming into fruition now. And a lot of you are getting very creative and, you know, dealing with the battles that, that you've had to deal with and you're communicating a lot more clearly now to the things that you want because I feel like a lot of you have kept things inside you and have not really opened up to, to expressing and saying exactly what you want and now you've reached a point where um, you don't want to hide things anymore. You're just going to say what you, what, what you feel, okay? You're not going to let it, um, you know, bottle up and then eventually explode. All right. Okay, Scorpio. We keep going, keep manifesting and, you know, try and sort of like have some time to yourself instead of picking up on everybody else's energy that it's not settling you know not putting you in a good place for some of you if you have a dog or, or a cat that dog or, or cat really um you know is some sort of spirit guide for you if they're also in your life for you to help clear that that energy so you know if you're picking up on everybody else's energy and it's disturbing you go hug the animal go hug the dog go hug the cat you know and release it through them. All right, Scorpio. I see you taking your leap of faith, Scorpio. You're, you're thinking an opportunity is opening up for you, Scorpio, that is going to give you a lot of strength, a lot of courage and financial. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, oh, Scorpio. I don't know what it is with your readings lately, but for a lot of you Scorpios, you're just, you're moving forward and moving on and you, you're really like attracting. Okay, for some of you Scorpios, you are in a very happy place because somebody has finally probably spoken a lot of truth to you and um has opened up their feelings to you or that something that were hiding eventually got revealed um this could be a person from your past this could be memories of the past or um looking back on the past and kind of like why why didn't you speak up what you know see now you're speaking up before you didn't speak up but I do feel a lot of truth and clarity is finally going to be spoken and this is going to bring a lot of happiness and a victory your way, okay? Um, it's not the end of a conversation. There's more to come. But something is finally being revealed to you. And this is bringing you out of a hurtful situation. I feel like somebody is going to come your way and, and apologise to you or they want to give you an offering or an opportunity to start a brand new beginning because we have the lovers here and they want to start something with you they want a victory with you and they've been watching this for a period of time now observing okay this is a wish fulfillment for you news is coming in very quickly for you scorpio and you may need to make a, a quick decision here but i kind of feel take your time like think about it think about you got time. You've got time. You don't need to, to jump. Whatever this is, it's going to release a heavy burden because there's an offer that is coming in. You're going to come out of feeling left out in the cold. It's a, it could be a business opportunity. Um, or it could be a person. 
Yeah. Some of you are leaving. You know, some of you are leaving or somebody's coming in with some news and they might be leaving, okay? Um, I do feel though, when you leave the Eight of Cups, you're, you're walking towards the Ten of Cups. So you're not walking into anything that's bad. You're, you're walking towards an, an improvement, okay? A lot of hard work and effort. You've got options that are going to be available to you. You need to think about, you know, this offer that is coming your way. But opportunities are going to open up for you. You're going to take a leap of faith, okay? You're going to choose a direction. I feel like there's somebody around you that you're very attached to, okay? And I do feel that this person is um, very creative and, and loves you very much, but sometimes they have a bit of toxic behaviour, but that's something that you're, um, you're dealing with now and you're looking at things in a different way. But you're trying to sort of like... Um, move on and move forward and I, I kind of feel like you know if you were dealing with somebody who had some toxic behavior they're creating a change in their life they're creating um you know movement they, they're making changes because they see that you're worth the change that you're worth the change now okay um i feel like you've been around this person for a long time like it's taken a long time for this to sort of like get to a certain, you know, certain balance between the two of you. But this person is working hard on releasing anything that's toxic. You've changed this person, Scorpio. I don't know what you've done. But they're changing and they're changing for you. They're not changing for themselves or anybody else. They're doing it for you because they want to be with you. But you got fast forward communication or travel that is happening in about seven to eight days you should get communication regarding a high level of commitment okay and i kind of feel like somebody wants to move forward with this commitment somebody wants to make the change they see you as somebody who is grounded somebody who works hard somebody who stands on their own two feet they didn't see this before they thought that you were just an in and out energy but now they see you you are seen now, hmm. which is good. So this person or you is making judgment because they don't want to repeat patterns anymore, okay? They're trying to make a decision in their life and, you know, it is it is worrying them. It is a little bit scary for them to make the change, but, you know, they're really overthinking. See, Scorpio... With all the, the queens in the deck, or even with a lot of the other signs, you're basically, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces are, are the ones that offer love. They don't, they don't receive much, but they offer a lot of love, okay? Where you've got other signs, you know, Aquarius or, um, you know, the star sign or Virgo or... You know, I don't want to name, but if you look at the tarot cards, the, the queen or the king, they offer love, okay? When you go to other signs, other signs are putting love back into themselves. They love themselves, whereas Scorpio wants to offer love. Scorpio heals, okay, with love. And you're healing somebody with love, all right? So I kind of feel like, you know, for some of you Scorpios, you, you've got this past person that, that came into your life and you probably went around the bend with them a couple of times, you know, in and out, in and out, in and out, you know. And now this person wants to come in and make you an offer and you're like, no way, there's no third time lucky here, you know. Um, because you've fallen in love, you've offered your couple up to somebody else, okay. And you're determined that you're going to have that. And this other person is going to walk away. They're going to regret. They're going to regret the complications that they put you through. They're going to regret their, their in and out energy with you because you offered love to this person once before and and then you, you shut the door on that, okay? Now there's a new person and that person is the person that you feel that you want to offer everything to, you want to offer that love to, but it's a waiting period with this person. There's something about um, 
either them or you having to complete something first okay but um you're in your empress energy scorpio you're also very much in your mind you're very much in your heart about this you, you're trying to create stability say you're saving money making changes okay you've got a lot of growth success happiness that is coming your way expansions job opportunity okay um for some of you work means that you have to move okay but wherever you're going you're going to be balanced out but there is a job opportunity for you to make a lot of money but you may have to to move um and that's a decision that you're going to have to make but i do see a lot of happiness success okay you have the tools to be able to do this you've manifested something possibly a year ago that's now coming in to give you equal give and take all right peace harmony twin flame connection soulmate connection somebody may have had to have leave your left somebody may have to leave your life for a period of time or you have to scorpio but they're coming back to give you an equal give and take this is heartache i see you upset i see you crying because you know that this could extend you know to a period of time of them being out of your life but there will be communication but i feel like there's a lot of love but this person when they come back they will give you um offer an offer of an offer of love okay this person is your soulmate you feel the connection you feel like if you two are spiritually guided you have a passionate new beginning with this person okay they really desire you you know this you're very intuitive like you know they see you as somebody who is sick you or you keep this person's secrets you know but you know you're wounded a little bit but the happiness that is coming your way i told you when you leave the eight of cups you go to the ten of cups this person is sad being away from you also you know um but in a way it's good scorpio and i know this is going to be a hard um pill to swallow when i say this if this person was to go and experience other people they, they're not going to find you they're not going to find you and other people okay but when they come back scorpio they're going to offer you this ten of cups okay um and i feel like it is work related that they're leaving it's got nothing to do with the, with the heartache third party all that the connection is strong scorpio they love you okay and they're gonna come as fast as they can they're coming for some of you you're moving in a new direction you're getting a new car um but you are you are packing for some of you you are packing you are moving this is the nine of cups okay your wish fulfillment is coming through some for some of you it's a new home um when this person comes back you and this person will be finding a new home together and this person is going to return to you from travel okay they are coming back more grounded they're coming back more stable and they are going to offer you this scorpio it is very clear very clear that the you and this person have a destiny okay you and this person can have everything together if you if you guys can work together but i feel like you're doing it separately this person is trying to make a name for themselves you're trying to make a name for yourself we've got strength this is strong the connection is strong okay there's nothing to fear here but this is the person that that you want to give your love to because i feel like this past person you know you went around in circles with them how many times you know on a roller coaster ride up and down up and down up and down and then finally you you're you are now saying no and never ever okay for some of you you will accept this other person back because curiosity is going to kill you but for a lot of you your love is now given to somebody else and i remember one of the scorpio readings that i did i don't know if it's the last one the the one before but i said scorpio you have finally fallen in love and and you have you may have felt like others that you went out with or dated or spent time with or married or settled down with were you know that was love but no this this is this is true love this you look at this person like through their eyes you're just 
I don't know. I don't know what it is, but you're you're very much in love, Scorpio, and this is this is destined. It really is destined. Okay. Balance is going to be restored. You're going to find your happiness again, Scorpio, and so is this person. You know, you may have come together and drifted off to towards other people, but this is it. This is time. What's at the bottom of this deck? Clarity. You finally received clarity. You've got passion. It is connection that is coming between the heavens and the earth it is organizing this. Okay. And I do feel that awakening, healing, balance is going to be restored. And there you go. Time. It is time. Okay. For, for some of you Scorpios, you need to look after your health, especially around your stomach or your heart. Um, please go for a checkup. But this is good, Scorpio. This is strong. This is changes coming in. Finances that is going to work in your in your favor. So offers that are coming in and you're going to be known, Scorpio. I don't know what you're going to be known for, but you're going to be known. And there's a lot of travel on your cards too. I feel like travel is going to be part of either this job opportunity that you're taking on or it requires you to travel somewhere. Okay. All right, Scorpio, I wish you all the best and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.